If, uh, if I'm not saying much, it's because behind me I've got Mr. Lando Norris. Oh, nice, nice. So a bit of poo is coming out right now. Nick, if you can just hold them both up. You mean forever? Oh, no! 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 I shouldn't be doing memes! Oh! A Ferrari crashed! We will get into me spinning out in front of Lando Norris in a couple of minutes, but before that, welcome! to the new gaming setup, the house tour continues. I know so many of you guys have been asking for an update on what's been going on. Well, today is the day. This is the new office and the new home of AR12. And today I am gonna show you all around. There are a bunch of things in here and a bunch of work that still needs to be done as you can probably tell by the massive Echo! 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 However, I'm already working on that and a bunch of other things. Plus, if you guys have any ideas, it's kind of a blank canvas in here. If you have an idea, put it in the comments down below and hey, maybe I might just add it to the gaming setup and the office here. So without further ado, let's go on a little tour. So before we jump into the new stuff, let's go back in time a little bit, a couple of months ago, just so we can get an appreciation for how much work has gone into this space, because it's kind of insane. So way back in the day when I first got the house, it was basically a bedroom. It had these dark walls carpet on the floor, these old-fashioned cupboard doors, and all of it had to go if I was going to turn this into the space that I'm going to be working in every single day. So, as some of you guys saw a couple of months ago when I brought the R32 over, I then ripped out all the carpet in an afternoon, which was actually really, really fun. Also, as you can tell, we were switching over to wood floors, which I took the liberty of writing some fun messages on the floor, which will forever be in this house. We also got the walls painted and a bunch of new lights into the ceiling, which will again make this setup way, way better and way nicer looking to record videos in. Eventually, a couple of weeks later, everything was done, the floor was stained, the desk was installed, and there's a GT Omega chair already in the setup, and then it was my job to go and install this literal snake of wires into the setup. For those of you who don't know, I use a lot of stuff, probably too much stuff to record the videos that you guys see every single day. I've got two computers, three monitors, a bunch of lights and cameras, mixers and audio equipment, and then my big racing rig, the TV and the cameras for that as well, literally. It is so much stuff and I'll be full on honest with you guys, when I was in the moving process, I was like, there is no way all of this stuff is going to work. Stuff is going to break and it's just something that I'm going to have to deal with. But surprisingly, after installing everything, it actually worked the very first try, which was amazing. It, it took me by surprise like crazy. Anyways, after we got the computers booted up, it was time to build my brand new GTO Mega Chair. Mega props for them for sending this thing out super quickly. If you'd like to check these chairs out for yourself, there's a link down below along with a discount code. We were, we've been working with GT Omega for a very, very long time. So thanks to them. And as, as it's you guys, you guys left me some lovely messages in donations. A 12-year-old would have built a chair and beaten Lando Norris by now. It's done! Get in there, Lewis. After Lewis got in there, it was officially ready and good enough to use for the time being. But as you're watching this, this setup is going to be changing so, so quickly over the next coming days and weeks that this video probably when you're watching it is already going to be outdated. Take a look at those orange lights, for example. In the very near future, those are going to be swapped out to the Elgato key lights. Mega props to them for sending those guys out as well. We've also got my Elgato green screen, which we're eventually going to be tossing over to the bigger one uh, that I've actually got on the floor. I just need to hang it up. There that is. Anyways, other than that, it sort of kind of works. I've got two different sections to the office. I've got my racing wheel on the left-hand side and my, and my sort of desk off to the right-hand side. Obviously, you can see I've got some work to do. I've got to hang my TV up on the wall. I've already got my soundproofing stuff, which again... I need to toss onto the wall as well. That cabinet is going to be turned into a show cabinet with a bunch of stuff in there. For right now, it's being used as storage, and you can get a sneak peek at some of the stuff we're going to be building on Twitch pretty soon. I've got my Xbox plugged in, and all of it 
works. But for the moment, everything works as it should. My PCs are working just fine. My racing setup is working just fine. I want to hang up my other Elgato green screen to make life a little bit easier for myself. Maybe get some good old-fashioned posters on the wall because they're just kind of blank at the moment. We can maybe get some cool race car stuff. Like I said, if you guys have ideas, please let me know in the comments down below. I mean, like I said as well, I've got to hang my TV up on the wall, which will hopefully allow me not to spin in front of Lando Norris, which you're probably wondering about. Let's go find out what happened there. So, you might be wondering how I even got the opportunity to play F1 against an actual F1 driver. Well, because sorta kinda just about everything is getting closed up and cancelled for the time being, a lot of the people involved are looking for other things to do, so I got invited to this thing called the Not Australian Grand Prix, and that featured myself, a bunch of other YouTubers and Twitch streamers, as well as Lando Norris, who's an actual F1 driver, and some other very, very cool people as well, which was just mind-blowing. The roster was insane. And you will very, very quickly see that the stress of this actually overtook me. I don't actually do too much talking just because I was actually kind of stressed out. Keep in mind, this was my second day in the new house, so my wheel wasn't set up properly, my TV was in the wrong place and everything, but I just wanted to make do and do as well as I could against some very cool people. Oh, formation lap. Oh, we can chill. Anti-climax. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's a bit eager. It's a formation lap. Oh man, I thought that was the race. <laughs> Decent start, very good start. Oh, I'll be hit. Trying to keep it clean. Oh, there's a backwards Reno. If I was a little more brave there, I could have. Kept the pen. Yeah, they're going three wide around Australia. Oh, oh, big Mercedes! Jeez, oh, absolute chaos. Oh, I think that's Courtois. If uh, if I'm not saying much, it's because behind me I've got Mr. Lando Norris. Oh, nice. nice. So a bit of poo is coming out right now. You mean forever? Oh, oh no! 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 Oh. I shouldn't be doing memes! Oh! A Ferrari crashed! Yeah, spinning out in front of Lando Norris isn't really the best idea. I dropped all the way down to P19, and then things didn't get much better when I picked up a penalty for ignoring blue flags. You know, somehow, when Lando Norris catches up and I'm not actually racing him, I can drive just fine. <laughs> I'm just sticking with them. The irony. I'm literally bumper to bu- Oh. Okay, that maybe wasn't the best idea because I did just get blue flag- uh, or, uh, uh, five second penalty. So yeah, I managed to pick up a five second penalty there, which probably wasn't the best thing because after that spin, like I said, I dropped down to P19 and I had to basically go. This was actually the last lap of the Grand Prix, which was kind of disappointing considering I had a pretty good start. I qualified in P12 and considering the skill of the people I was going up against, I was really happy with that. After the first lap, I was actually up into the top 10, which was kind of insane. However, just the, the stress of the situation kind of overbeared me and overpowered me, and I'll blame that on the spin combined with the fact that this was actually the same day, the first day that I moved into the new house, and my setup was far from perfect, my wheel was far from perfect. This was actually my first time playing F1 on Cross PC as a whole, which was kind of cool and a little bit different from what I'm used to. Regardless though, it was a super, super fun event and hopefully at some point in the near future, I can come back and redeem myself. I want to put some time into the game 
now that the setup's slowly improving, we got to get the TV up on the wall and stuff like that. But no, it was really fun to be racing all of these guys. Literally super cool people. And I hope to be doing more of these in the near future. And just like that is how I managed to bottle it while racing against an F1 driver, a goalkeeper, and a bunch of other really cool people. I mean, hey, I'm just going to whip out the racing driver excuses right off the bat. My wheel wasn't calibrated. My TV was in the wrong place. The list goes on and on. I, my driving skill had nothing to do with it. I mean, if anything, I did a very good job at replicating Ferrari in real life, so, um... I guess I did good. But no, in all seriousness, it was really, really cool to play against all these guys. It was mega amounts of fun. I hope to do it again soon. Stay tuned for that though. Mega props goes out to each and every one of you watching this as well and bearing with me in this time of transition while I get set up in the new space and dealing with the echo and everything. Thank you so much for sticking around. I promise we will get the soundproofing up in here shortly, which will drastically improve the sound in here. Until then though, Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to GT Omega and Elgato for hooking me up with all of the stuff to make this space as good as it is already and it's gonna continue to improve. Until then though, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be building those Lego cars soon and I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye.